Last year, during the Battery Day event, Tesla announced their plans to produce their new 4680 battery cells, and it looks like Tesla will begin to produce their vehicles with the new 4680 battery cells as early as next year, which is very exciting news. If that caught your attention, stay till the end of the video to know a lot more. Things are getting a lot more exciting for Tesla, especially when you consider the fact that Tesla is changing their battery game with the 4680 battery cells that they announced last year in September. During their battery day event, everyone was surprised when Tesla talked about their new batteries. Tesla unveiled their plans to develop a tabless battery cell, and that tabless battery cell is exactly the 4680 battery cell that we're talking about. This battery could improve the range per charge and so many other things. And all of this means that electric cars are getting a lot more exciting than we initially thought they would be. The best part is that Tesla will be producing these batteries in their own gigafactories, which will then help reduce the production cost dramatically and will allow the company to eventually sell electric cars that will then compete with mass-produced gasoline vehicles at lower price tags. With this 4680 battery, Tesla is focusing on lowering Tesla's cost per kilowatt hour, which happens to be the unit of energy most commonly used to measure the capacity of a battery pack in modern-day electric vehicles. By reducing cost per kilowatt hour, Tesla will be able to lower the price of its car, and this means that you could expect a much more affordable Tesla from the company, and even Elon Musk expressed his desire to build a $25,000 Tesla, which means that you'll see a lot more Teslas on the road. This will also be good news because we know that Tesla is doing really great with their supercharger network, and once we have a lot more Teslas on the road, we'll also be getting a lot more supercharger network, and gone are the days where you need to worry about your range per charge and also your charging times. Many might think that Tesla is just reinventing the wheel with these new battery cells, but that is not the case. Because removing the tab, which happens to be a part of the battery that forms a connection between the cells and thereby powering it, will make the manufacturing process a lot simpler. And you could also expect better products because of the chances errors happening during production will be less, considering that there are fewer parts required to produce these battery packs. These battery packs promise about five times more energy capacity, six times more power than the existing batteries that Tesla uses for their cars, and you're also looking at a 16% increase in range per charge for Tesla's vehicles. So what exactly is with the name 4680? Well, this happens to be the dimension of Tesla's battery cells, which means the 4680 cells will be measuring 46 millimeters by 80 millimeters. The exciting part of the 4680 batteries is just not limited to having a lot more power and range, but we're also looking at a 14 percentage reduction in cost per kilowatt hour. Musk also confirmed that Tesla is working on new cell manufacturing system. We know that Tesla is also producing their own manufacturing of their own batteries with the help of Panasonic, the company that is currently using 2170 cells for their Model 3 and Model Y. And the batteries for these models are produced in Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada by Panasonic. Elon Musk also mentioned that Tesla will be manufacturing its own batteries so that Tesla will no longer be in production hell ever again, like what happened with the Model 3. And this was no surprise considering the fact that there were recent acquisitions, leaked photos, patent applications and researches that suggested that Tesla will soon be manufacturing their own battery cells. But this does not mean that Tesla will no longer outsource their batteries as well. Tesla just wants to have a lot more options when it comes to getting batteries for their vehicles. And Tesla will continue to use batteries supplied by Panasonic, China's Cattle, South Korea's LG Chem, and many more. Tesla is also looking forward to buying a lot more batteries from their suppliers than usual, considering that today, Tesla sells a lot more vehicles than ever before, which was very evident from their quarter three deliveries report. Right now, Tesla is still figuring out ways to manufacture the 4680 battery cells, and Tesla will soon be using these batteries in all of their lineup. For instance, the Cybertruck will cost you about $1 million if Tesla were to produce it right now, because Tesla still was not able to achieve economies of scale with the production of 4680 battery cells. But the most exciting news about the 4680 cells from Tesla is the fact that Tesla is looking forward to starting test production as early as March of 2022. This is really important for Tesla's future battery plans and also their partnerships with other battery manufacturers out there. 
Tesla will also be using the 4680 cells as part of the structural battery pack, especially with their upcoming Model Y that'll be built in their Gigafactory in Texas. We could expect a similar trend with Cybertrucks and the upcoming Tesla semi-truck. You'll also need to keep in mind that Panasonic will be responsible for producing the 4680 cells for batteries built by Tesla. During the quarter 3 2021 earnings call, Drew Beglino, who happens to be Tesla's senior vice president of powertrain and engineering, answered an investor question about 4680 battery cells. He stated that the battery design will be finalized by this quarter and testing to date has gone well, and the Fremont factory line is on track to support it. Now, Tesla needs to consider so many things when making these new batteries with the 4680 cells. This happens to be very new architecture that Tesla is not used to, and there could be some problems that we still don't know yet. Tesla needs to make sure that these batteries are high quality so they can prevent anything wrong going on with the batteries, especially when you consider the fact that batteries can catch fire easily if something goes wrong. And that is not something that Tesla wants to do right now because that'll go against Tesla's goal of accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy with the help of electric vehicles, and bad reputation in the eyes of potential EV buyers will be a problem for Tesla. Right now, it looks like Tesla is once again in production hell because of the new 4680 cells, which could help Tesla build million electric vehicles a year. So to sum things up, Tesla's been working on their batteries for a long time now, and Tesla might start production of the 4680 battery cells both in their Giga Shanghai and Giga Berlin. These batteries will definitely make EVs from Tesla a lot cheaper. At the same time, it'll provide you with a better range and faster charging times. Right now, Tesla wants to put these new 4680 battery cells onto their Model Y because the Model Y will be Tesla's best-selling model across the world. Considering the fact that the crossover SUV segment is huge across the world, and a lot more people prefer to buy a crossover SUV instead of a sedan, which is exactly why Model Y has been very successful in the first place. Right now, we are looking at a trial production run for these batteries, and Panasonic is really working with Tesla to get these batteries out. Tesla is working on so many things right now, and they're working on the Roadster 2.0. They're working on their upcoming Cybertruck, and they're also working on their semi-truck. Most importantly, they're working on their own humanoid robot, and all of these products from Tesla need one thing, batteries. So you might think that Tesla is a company that was successful in selling electric cars. Well, yes, but even better is the fact that Tesla is a company that was successful in designing their own battery cells and their own gigafactories. So you could say that the most influential product from Tesla was never their electric cars, but it was always their gigafactories and the new 4680 cells that would change the game for Tesla. Buying an electric car is a lot more exciting now, and that's also because of Tesla's success with electric cars. And Tesla was also successful in providing a changing infrastructure, and we are looking at about 25,000 supercharger stations across the world and this number will continue to grow as we have a lot more Teslas on the road. It's exciting to see such a very new company changing the entire game in the automotive industry. And it also shows us the true state of how difficult it is for other automotive manufacturers to adapt to change. Even after all these years of Tesla's existence, we still don't have a true competitor from any of those legacy manufacturers when it comes to building an electric vehicle that could compete with what Tesla is offering today. So right now it makes a lot of sense why Tesla will continue to be the world leader when it comes to producing and manufacturing electric vehicles, because Tesla is manufacturing their own batteries and their own cars. This will cut down the cost of electric vehicles, and soon we'll all be driving around our own electric vehicles, and Tesla will soon get their goal of accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy. And that's a wrap for today's video. What do you think about these new 4680 battery cells that Tesla will be implementing with their new vehicles starting next year with the Model Y? Will Tesla be able to solve the range anxiety issue and the charging speeds with these new battery cells? Do let us know what you think in the comments section below because we would love to hear from you. That's about it for today. Drop a like for the video if you really enjoyed it, and we will meet again in the very next video.